Welcome back. 853. Think Fine Art is out of your price range. Well, the president of consignor Canadian Fine Art, Rob Cowley, is here to dispel the myths and kind of give us the Ten Commandments or Ten Great Lessons on Valuing Art. Because sometimes you see a piece, we were just talking during the break, especially a modern piece like mm -hmm. Voices of Fire at uh, the National Art Gallery, and you think, you paid how many millions for that? Absolutely. But there's a reason for Of that. course there is. Absolutely. There definitely is, uh, is commandments that, that, that we call them in the business. Certain factors that certain play, certainly play into the role to help us value uh, works of art. Um, each of the works of art here actually are in a November auction. Uh, mm -hmm. It's online now at consigner.ca. Um, I'll start off at that. I'll ask you, um, these two works of art in the middle, without okay. knowing anything these at all two, about them. These two, yes. And without um, seeing any stickers without, at the back. Yeah, without seeing stickers <laughs> on the back or any notations. <laughs> What would you say, if you were to just kind of guess, which would you think would be more valuable, just based? Sorry. I would say this one, because it looks to me like a, uh, a group of seven work mm -hmm. kind of thing. Absolutely. Well, it's interesting, and uh, that's, that's uh, very astute by you as well, because certainly this, this work is by George Thompson, who is a, a well-known Canadian painter. Mm -hmm. It's valued at between $600 and $800. Okay. This painting is by his younger brother, who was Tom Thompson. Oh, one of Canada's okay. best known painters. But you know what? I just read over the summer Tom Thompson's book. Oh, I should have known. But to of me, course. that doesn't look like a Tom Thompson. It's, well, it's an earlier work. It's an earlier work. Earlier work it's, it's circa 1910, about seven years before his death. And, and, it, and it carries a value of between eighty dollars and $140,000. Wow. So more than 100 times the value of the George Thompson. And it really does take into account the first commandment, which is who the artist is. Right. Uh, Tom Thompson, of course, uh, his association with uh, what would become the Group of Seven. Mm -hmm. and, and George Lesson. So George, although he was a well-known painter as well, his association was a little bit different. His history is a little and bit different. And they worked together well. for a while too, didn't Certainly they? Certainly they were associated with each other, absolutely, both as family members and, and as artists as well as professionals. Okay, so what's absolutely. the second commandment then? Well, you look at association first, subject matter. Subject matter is very important. If you look at this work actually just right here by mm -hmm. Cornelius Krigoff, yeah. that is a work, um, uh, it, Krigoff was, was very well known for depicting not only the habitant people of Canada, but also the native people of Canada. So that's a subject that's very well, uh, um, very much celebrated by, by the painter as well. Size plays a role as well. A smaller painting will usually be valued lower than, than a larger painting to an extent. To an extent. You an look at the Mona Lisa, painting. right? And how oh, tiny yes, that absolutely. is, right? When you, when you, when you go and, and you that's see exactly it in person. It. So that's... Um, that plays a role as well. The period of a painting as well. Certain mm -hmm. artists have stronger periods that are recognized more so than other periods in their career. Uh, the association. Association is simply the history of the painting. A perfect example here is this work by Tom Thompson was actually owned by George Thompson. So it passed through the Thompson family um, to the present owner. And so that adds something to the value of the painting as well, having, so having such an interesting history and being such a personal painting for the family of Thompson as well. Wow. So association plays a, plays a role. Um, the quality of a painting. If a if an artist has a bad day or if they're just doing a demonstration and maybe maybe that they create a painting in an hour instead of many days mm -hmm. that can also the quality of the painting can, can, can also affect the value as okay. well. Okay what about emerging artists as well mm -hmm. I, I mean is there anything to look at if, if, if you're thinking of okay maybe I want to invest something in, mm -hmm. in this particular artist as they're emerging what from your angle mm -hmm. makes it look like something well this could be worth more than this artist's work. It's always important to um, to, to look at look at the history of, of the artist. Look at even if, even if it is an emerging artist. Look at the sales they've had. Look at the galleries where they're represented. Mm -hmm. Maybe try to find a gallery where, where they're represented and even consult with the people who know their art, uh, know the artist the best. Right. That way you can make make an educated decision. The same way that, that we uh, the, 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 that we consult with our clients uh, towards our auctions. Okay. You've got some more modern looking pieces of, yeah. here. This this, uh, this piece is a work here. by Sybil Andrews as well that um, and then brings in it brings in another um, another commandment which. Which is, uh, which is rarity. This is a rare print by Sybil Andrews, valued between twelve and fifteen thousand uh, dollars. This artwork has performed very well at auction in the point that when it's appeared seldomly at auction in the past, it's sold upwards of fifty thousand dollars in the past. Really, yeah. really, but there are affordable pieces of out there, there and, like, and you can yeah, tell them on on your website as well. Right, at consigner.ca, we have the auction coming up, and we are live previewing everything in the sale as well. Well, in our offices on Dundas Street, across from the AGO. Mm -hmm. And what about this other piece that you this have? This last here? piece here is by William Ronald. Uh, William Ronald uh, was a member of Painters Eleven in Canada. Um, taking into account both the period, this is a later work, a 1992 painting by the artist, and the size of the work, it's valued between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars. You can contrast that with uh, on the cover of our auction catalog. This is a work from the late fifties, a large canvas by the artist. This is valued between fifty and seventy thousand dollars. Oh wow! And, so and again, in, it's it, it's the size and the, it's size the period. And the period as well. This being prime period. This being still a celebrated period, the smaller work, but a later period as well. Wow. The value.
I've learned so much. <laughs> I've learned I should be looking closer at my Tom Thompsons. <laughs> Not that I have any. I really did. <laughs> so again, the auction is coming up. It's coming up. It's on display now on our website and in our offices. And bidding is open between November 20th and 29th at consigner.ca. Okay, so don't be intimidated. Get out there and, Absolutely. yeah. It's a high level of convenience. Okay. Okay, Rob, thanks so much. And again, we'll have the details of your website on our website there at chch.com. Happy collecting or just enjoying these works. We're back with more Morning Live at 9 o'clock.